Look here, man. Now, let's talk about this clean money situation. We, we got Reek in the building. That was his first single right there. It's called Clean Money. Now, you was talking about that you had to start a business on top of what you're doing right now. Because a lot of people just want to be straight artists. And, and, and you can't, sometimes you can't fund your dream when you don't have income. So, when you're an artist, uh, I, I feel that you do uh, things that you're not supposed to do to put you in situations that you cannot uh, pursue your dreams. So, exactly. you talk about you started your own business. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah um, I started my own landscaping business last year. Uh, I had a problem with OD, COVID, like that. Yeah, it was kind of a good time. I got to get some trucks or something. How do you make some money? So, I copped a pickup truck, got a lawnmower for one of my boys, and I just went from there. I used my last paycheck. I had to my job. So, I used my last paycheck just to go ahead and get everything started. Got my um, equipment, this floor. Yes, sir. Let them know all the services I had to offer, you know what I'm saying, as far as like pressure washers, cutting grass, hauling, and then um, I ran across a couple apps that kind of give you customers, kind of like Uber for like landscaping and whatnot, and I just, I just went from there, you know what I'm saying, and then um, along the way, you know what I'm saying, probably like eight months later, I picked up a little side job on the side, on top of everything to um, keep the um, that money, keep the money coming in, because uh, honestly, as an artist, it's hard, you know what I'm saying, being an artist, it's hard. But, uh, I mean, but the gram, but you can do a lot of faking on the gram. <laughs> I see a lot of people that I yeah. know in real life that ain't got a dime. Look, but on the gram, they already got a million bucks. Yeah, but look, 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 look. As soon as you turn that gram off, you know what I'm saying? You got to look in the mirror, and then it's just not as though it's pretty as the gram, you know what I'm saying? You always got to close that top. You can't keep that top going on forever, you know what I'm saying? You got to finish the house as soon as it is. It just sucks, though, when, when it's not what you want it to be. If you're not really out here grinding, you know, you're faking it, so. And so that's the whole purpose of clean money. Yes, sir. Uh, I like that. Round of applause for that. Thank now, you. let's talk about this next song. Yeah. All right, this next song, I got, uh, it's called uh, Till I Die. Pretty much just, uh, you know, just being in the trenches and just, you know what I'm saying? It's for all uh, people who just got to, uh, you know, protect themselves in the area around and whatnot. You know, I know a lot of people around me, they got to keep it on It's pretty, pretty much, much, you know, song, song pretty much for that. And just, um, it's real life, pretty much. That's yeah, real life. Because yeah. yeah. when I look at the situation I, like right now, I look at it like it's across the board. I don't care if you're even in a job. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you got a lot of haters out there. And so when, when hate magnifies and stuff, people be mad at you mm -hmm, for doing good. People are mad at you for being successful. People be mad at you for not doing good. Anything. Like, you're not going to to all evil. Like, we, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, I ain't got no problem telling you, I just like saying no. There it is. Let's get into this next song with my man, right here, Till I Die. Fix your face on the Mr. 24 7 show. Tune in right now. <laughs> Out there grinding and doing their thing and it's keeping it a hundred. Because a lot of artists, if 
you know what I'm saying? When I was on, the, on my other situation, I was doing that thing, and I showed love to them. Then, and then when the situation, you know, went south, everybody was counting me out. And then those same artists was saying negative things. And I was sitting back saying, I never, never did anything negative. You know, I, never, I never, you know, not showed you love. And that, that just really showed me. You know, how people are for real, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody was looking out for themselves, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, it's a lot of snakes in this thing, you know what I'm saying? As soon as they, oh, they see everybody um, going to start with somebody's name, they don't even know the for right. they they're going to, you know, ride that wave too. Right. But if they're solid, they're going to sit back, and they're going to observe everything, and they're going to have your back, you know what I'm saying, behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's really about, but it's a blessing in the church, because you get to see who was really rocking with you, and who really not, you know what I'm saying? There it is. And let's go into this third song. What are we talking about on this third song? This third song is called, uh, it's called Day and Night. You know what I'm saying? Day and Night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much it's uh, just the day and night grind. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I've working from you know, sun up to sundown. You know what I'm saying? Making music sun up to sundown. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with pilots sun up to sundown. Yeah, let's, let's, before we get into Day and Night, let's, let's talk about the problem. Let's talk about the real life of Reek. Now, Reek got the job. Yes, sir. We got the career, yes, sir. and so now, what about the family, the children, the girl? Like, what's yeah. that look like? Yeah, I, I, I don't have no kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm blessed. Right Lucky now. for I you, have kids right now. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, I got a girl in my life right now. Her name is uh, Bella Ray. She makes music. I'm actually gonna uh, bring her up here. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's get on the show. Right now. She sings. She's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I love my family. They support me a lot. Um, I just want to put myself in a position to do more for them. You know what I'm saying? Help them out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, financially. But yeah, my life's pretty simple, bro. Like That's that. good. My yeah. life is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be there. I used to be there. Baby, my <laughs> Christmas is coming. The baby is there. <laughs> what, 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 my baby is Chelsea Clinton. Like, who is, who is my daughter? I mean, mom's little sister, girlfriend, grandma, aunts. I mean, the Christmas list get long. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And they only want no, no, give me a, a shirt or a coat. They like, I like the new MacBook. Yeah. Like new, what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What, what does Tony Reyes mean? Tony Reyes, I'm just a regular person. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out here trying to get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now let's go ahead and get into the song. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tune in. Here's the third joint from my man, Marie For Real. It's called Day and Night, right here. It's a 24 7 show. If you don't like it so much, still <laughs> That's it. Hey, Shane. Hey, hey. Shout out to churches, they know what it is Most of these bitches just want some kids Don't bring up my past cause I did what I did I miss my uncle when she ain't get hit I'm all in the boot trying to make me a hit Remember it wasn't no food in the fridge I never forget but I always forget Can't trust all these bitches, they always persist Say you be glided, I say girl this day and night I got shooters there, it's your day and night I just got back from my little dog and made it right I got clean money, I got dirty sprite Fuck with that bullshit, girl show me your will How we gon' last, I don't know how you feel Okay. We back. Uh huh. We back from the 24/7 show. Of course, you know who it is. It's the 24/7 in the flesh with my man Rick for real. Yes, sir. Uh, now we were, we don't got into the, your three singles right now, so you pushing right now. So what's next for Rick? Man? No questions, too. I got another album dropping. Um, top of 2020. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep the pressure on. Keep my catalog up. <laughs> right. But a lot of um, people asking like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna no, you good, you good, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But a lot of people ask me, they like, so how do I get to the next level? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to your music, when it comes to marketing or anything. Right. And I feel like when it comes to marketing or anything, we don't make the world small with the internet. Yeah. So a lot of people, I feel like you need to find what's most effective. What I did with my show when I first started, when I first started many, many, many years ago, when my first, what I, what I first did was I would put up a, my, 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 uh, my vision board. Yeah. And I would have goals set. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is I would try to put things up on there to see what worked and take down what didn't work and kept doing what worked. You know what I'm saying? I kept putting things against the wall into the stick until I finally got that formula. And I feel like when people need to reevaluate their stuff and find out what their formula is and then put that together and then work that. Hell yeah. Because it makes things work for me. Like, um, you know, 13, 14 songs, good body of work, all the way beats. Um, those work for me, you know what I'm saying? And. As far as um, going, taking yourself to the next level, I feel like um, you know you just gotta have the money to prepare yourself to market and get on these blog sites, these uh, big platforms. Cause I mean, unless they just pick you up for free, you know what I'm saying? They don't, artists don't want to spend money. They feel like if they spend money, that 
You're getting it. But they spend money on all the other things, like the clubs, the girls, tables, weed, and all that. But they don't spend money on the cover arts, you know what I'm saying, getting your stuff mastered, you know what I'm saying, getting these blog placements and all that. I mean, and that's what's really going to take you off, you know what I'm saying? The other stuff, the girls and all that, spend the money on that. It's not going to help you become... The, the biggest the artist in the world, you know what I'm saying, and, and get these labels to um get their ads on you and whatnot. Like, it's, it's not going to work that way. Well, the guys doing now is they're, they're doing, like, little uh, mm -hmm. uh, videos that are putting them on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen them when, when you come on the scroll? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they're putting yeah. promotion on that, but, and that's coming up, so you get a couple views from that. Yeah, uh, fact. A couple. Get, right, a couple views. Then you go to Google, and Google start placing your video certain places. That's more effective than right, Google. Right, yeah, right. Google. And then YouTube right. yeah. has a situation where they place your videos as well. Yeah, fact. Uh, Vimo. Mm -hmm. uh, so so it's, I feel like there's a lot of places that you can funnel your money into to put it out there where you need it to be. Yeah, because you got to think outside the box. Because everybody's on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So why not think outside of Instagram? You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's doing it. You know, you can get 10,000 views in your video on Instagram, but you may only have 1,000 on YouTube. So it's all about... Um, um, how you market? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But, but you can also go to Spotify, but they also got a, play, a placement list. Yeah, for the playlist. Yeah. So oh, it's like Apple, Apple Music. Like yeah. yeah. A lot of these uh, streaming companies now, have you ever been listening to your streaming? You're sitting there, you can stream music off Apple Music, you just put it on what? And you hear this random song, you're like, yeah. That's because they put music strategically into these uh, these streaming things, these situations. And that can, that can be you. Yeah. Because you can pay for those things like that. Yeah, even when um, these guys drop their tapes on like uh, Spinrella and stuff like that, um, I notice a lot of them don't even um, use the like the biggest platform on Spinrilla, like the banner, like all the way up top top. They kind of just do the new release and just uh, settle for less. But you gotta put this, put the uh, music and everything in front of these people's face. You know what I'm saying? The whole way, the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And you can kind of tell, you know what I'm saying, who invests in, them, invest in themselves and who don't, because those are people who really um, are coming up. For us. Like, they're the ones really coming up. Take it serious. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate man. you. Thank you. Uh, man, always a pleasure having me. Always a pleasure. Like always, brother. Mr. 247show.com. We, 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 we rocking out right now. So before you go, is there, is there anything that you want the people to know what you're doing or what's coming up or what's happening with you? Um, I got a lot of shows coming up. Shout out to uh, Juice Star. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Mr. Tony Rez. Um, I got a lot of shows coming up. I got the No uh, Questions 2 coming up, like I said. Uh, I got some new visuals coming out. Um, just be looking out for my visuals, my new tapes. Um, go get No Hype. I dropped it on my birthday, November 4th. It's on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music. Um, just be looking out for the visuals and the music and the interviews, man. I'm telling you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Rick for real. Yes, right here you. on the Mr. 24 7 yeah. show. If you hate and fix your face, we got more coming up. I got my girl Shifty in the building. Yes, she sir. just won on the Titan Awards last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to her. her. And talk to her. Yeah. Shout out to her. So let, I don't go nowhere, man. We just put oh, yeah. right here. And I got, a, uh, I got an EP actually coming out with, uh, with Bella Ray. I'm going to bring you up here for you. She's a, I'm telling you, lovely singer, man. You're a lover. I got an EP coming out with her. We just recorded a song called um, Walls and everything. I um, got an EP coming out with her. New video coming out. That's going to be real dope. It's going to be real special. There it is. Fix your face. Keep it tuned in. Right here, this is 24 seconds. I promise not to never switch up sides till I die. Til I'm going to keep that 40 by my side till I die. I'm going to wake up and get on that grind.